That call for help coming from the people who lost everything in that fire. Now they're turning to the community in their time of need. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live with details on how you can help. Taisha. See, on most of the people that were displaced by that fire yesterday are staying at a shelter here right behind me at the Community of Faith Church. We actually have one family who generously are donating items for those people displaced. Now, this shelter, as we have learned, could only accommodate about half of the 115 people that were put out by that apartment fire yesterday. Donations are still needed for those family families who lost just about everything in their North Line Point apartment apartments on Saturday. It is believed that someone grilling inside one of the 31 apartments likely sparked that fire. Most people made it out of the building with only the clothing on their backs. Precinct one deputies are helping to collect food, water, clothing and hygienic products. Some children even needing school supplies because they are enrolled in summer school. They've lost everything. So just think about starting from scratch. Um, from anything to like toothbrush, undergarments, um, just anything that you would get up in the morning and think that you need, this is exactly what they need. And if you are able to be as generous as that family there, uh, you can donate anything that you have um, in person here at this church. You could also call this number 832-286-3876. Anything that you can donate, or even if you know where some of these families can find housing uh, that will accept Section 8, you can uh, contact that number that I just gave you. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Taisha.